Hello everybody! It's Lucky Jack 20 and I'm doing a new let's play of a game that I was inevitably, inevitably going to be doing after I started Banjo-Kazooie. Doing the special one. And, you may already be guessing, it's Banjo-Tooie. So yep, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to really try and have fun doing this game because it's a lot more difficult than Banjo Kazooie but still even twice as fun. And down there we see he looks like Klungo from Banjo Kazooie moving a boulder. Why is he doing that? I'm just going to be, I might as well just give you a quick heads up since if any of you have not seen the end of my Banjo Kazooie, which I hope you haven't because it's not, has not even come out yet, I'm going to say what's happened. Um, at the end of Banjo Kazooie, of course, Banjo Kazooie beat Gruntilda. She fell down to the ground. See, he's right there. It's been this must this, so this happened two years afterwards. We beat Grunty. She fell down from her castle, smashed into the ground, and a quite convenient boulder landed right on top of her. Just like what it's saying also right there. And she's been under there up until this very day and I guess Klungo's been out there every single day as well just moving it I'm pr I'm pretty sure after the first month of doing that I would have said okay you know screw this this is not working must be freaking loyal as all heck to stay there for two years no good still can't shift rock you think and you're still doing it all because of that stupid bear now that is a dumb voice for him I'm not doing that voice he deserves a better voice than that. I guess meanwhile, Banjo's house there. Let's say they just have, have playing a kind of game of cards. Mumbo play well, as much of bears cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed. Money. Hey, that is a bad hand. I'll be so sure, Banjo. Hey! Look outside, everyone! Gertie the Witch is coming! Oh, man. Look at that. That's the oldest trick in the book, and they all fell for it. Where? Because we can't see. Oh, uh, false alarm. Anyway, so. Pretty much, there are some things, maybe some spoilers in this game, like of what we'll learn in the first game, because pretty much you're going to have all your old moves from Banjo Kazooie, and then some, because we're going to be learning all the cool new moves of this game. So. I guess they're having just a little night party over there. Grunty and Klungo are having their own kind of night party. Except, the only real guest is Klungo. I had an idea for a joke there somewhere. I know I did, but I just lost it somewhere in my mind. Uh-oh. Looks like something's drilling through all that rubble. Now that usually is not a good... Now, green smoke is usually never a sign of good things coming through. That's shaking the whole place up. Stop rocking at the table. You're making me sick. That was a weird voice too. Mumbo not rock table. How shakes you a lot. Perhaps one of us should go go to take a look outside. I'm sounding like freaking Forrest Gump here. This is not gonna work. Anyway, so drills breaking in through the rock, and that thing is huge. Well, that's it. The fourth wall's officially been broken. Now. This place isn't all closed up anymore, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Hmm. Whoa, it opens. It's kind of convenient. Protects the door pretty damn well. Who's coming? Another witch? Dang. Hmm. Hurry, Blabelda. Our sister is waiting. Blabelda, I do not even, I do not even want to know. Oh my gosh! She got... That's not tripping, that's like jumping. Apparently, must go or angry Grunge will be. Then get off me, you must, or move I cannot. 
Anyway. It stopped now. I wonder what it was. Yeah, Mal should look outside. Of course I can't, the shutters are all drawn up. Sure is noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. But, but, but it's dark out there, and, uh, uh, I'm scared. And he hides in the backpack. Mumble, much brave. Me go look outside. How the heck is. I've always wondered how that Kazooie fits in the entire backpack like that. I, I, know, this is, I know this is the entirely wrong time to start wondering that after all Banjo Kazooie, but seriously. <laughs> And he's still gonna. And he's just gonna take all of his money while he's out. Ah, Kazooie, you cheating scoundrel! That's all I could think of to say. Hmm, what's going down? Sorry, mistress, I have failed you. All right, Grunty mustn't get you out. Your sisters will. Big Rock is. So powers we must combine. I don't even know what he's just what she's just saying. Like there's all these new characters, all these new voices. Ah, Boulder Blasters. Oh crap! This I can already tell is not going to be a good thing. Lifting up, and oh my gosh! That wasn't a blaster. Like I actually shrunk it down, and then. Like a little pebble, and then broke it. Uh oh. She's back. Horrible impression. Now, oh my gosh, I think she may have something changed about her since the two years. New haircut. Nice, Grunty looks. Lost weight, you have. I hate bones. A body I need. Can you help with this little deed? Man, she's just falling apart. How the heck is she gonna be any more of a challenge? It's button we have, okay. Anyway. She just wipes it off. <laughs> That's not good. This is not good. Yeah, thanks for the repeating. Ah, see this bony man has. Him we must whack. <laughs> Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt. Then off to the castle. And now she's just blasting crap all over the place. Poor Mumble just running for his life. Dang. She must, be, she must not be a very good aim she can't hit him like from that distance. Then again, she is a video game boss of all things. Guess I'll be having that bird seat after all, huh, Banjo? But you cheated, Kazooie! That's not. <sighs> Sorry, drop something. Everyone, let's run! Quick! Good! Coming! I don't think he, I don't even think he should sound like that. I gotta come up with something different. I need to practice voices what I gotta do before doing something like this. Revenge is mine, I cannot miss. Let's see that very fool dodge this. She's charging up something bad. Yeah, yeah, schoolboy. They're all not believing him after all that. <laughs> that would be quite scary, two heads. No joke. Look, spell coming. <laughs> He's right! Quick everyone out! And that was just a horrible voice there. I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm staying right here. Now here's something I don't understand. There's only one door out the front. Grunty fired the shot, like, and they, they escaped before she fired the shot. How did she not see them leave? Or see that Banjo was still alright because he left the house before the shot hit? I don't know, just me pointing out stuff, I guess. He's all running up to him. Oh, no, it's this, I'm nearly there. Spend the blast of that bear. Hmm. Uh oh. Troops we will leave. Destroy area they will. Uh oh. So, these must be the new ish type of enemies we'll be fighting. 
Oh, nothing too difficult, just more flying and walking enemies. Give us something that can shoot them, that'll be tricky. Stop! Wait for me, mistress! Lunchy! was expecting to say that. No, no, Klungo! You stay here. I'll be back, have no fear. And man, so, man, that just shook this entire place up. There's like, the cliffs are starting to collapse. This old place got torn up. Look at the house. It's all sooty and broken windows. Just made the last payment on it, probably. Uh, Mumbo's head hurts. Look at our house. Well, at least everyone got out safely. You know, speaking of everyone, where the heck is Tootie from Banjo Kazooie? Well, that. Not even. That accidentally rhymed. Oh no. He's all like, what the heck was that? Oh boy. Man. Oh, Mo looks much unwell. It's worse than that. Granny's killed poor bottles. Oh, oh, that is it. I cannot take any more of this. He wasn't a fair character in Banjo Kazooie anyway. <laughs> the heck is Kazoo Kazooie? Sorry. <laughs> Just who are these guys to be able to do that? Go to your house and kill bottles. She must pay. Baron Bird, get after witch. Mumbo, see you later. But where are you gonna go? Great, I got to peck some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. And this is not good. And we see that classic little fade to black there. And now, after that hideously long cutscene, we finally get to control ourselves. As you can already tell, some things are different. Oh no, various insects are taking an interest in my corpse. He's just talking all lightly. So now, the cool thing is, all our moves from Banjo Kazooie, as you can see, all of our classic moves are back. If you ever forget them, you can go back to, old, to all the bottles, old mole hills from the first game, where they would be out here. Kongo's mad at something. <laughs> Stupid bear, bird, come here. Me wait for them in here. Alright, you do that, I'm gonna be getting some important crap here. First of all, these are the new egg baskets. You get them in sets of ten-ish. No, I know. Nope. Look at this, uh, we get them in sets in... Twenty, dang. Oh, okay. Pick up, I need a booster energy! Who the heck is that guy? Red feathers are needed for Kazooie to fly. Seems like a military type of guy. And we can carry a lot more feathers now. We can carry like 60. We used to only be able to carry 50 in Banjo Kazooie. Alright, so. Let's get a little acquainted back to the controls. And up there you see the shock spring pad. Ah, uh, the shock spring pad. Jump up here. And in this little cave we get a little page. And what is it? I'm just going to be pretending as if we've already played Banjo-Kazooie. It's Cheeto! A guy we would have met in Banjo-Kazooie when I get to that point, uploading those videos, who would give us cheats. So, I guess when he got, when the whole tank thing went down, all these pages got separated. So, if ever find five out in the world, come all the way back here, give them back to him, and he'll give us another cheat, like he usually does. Dang, a hundred eggs. Like that. We, it usually takes me like five minutes to collect them. Now here's some things here. These white shoes from Banjo Kazooie used to be able to give you really speedy shoes like that. The green boots would allow you to be able to walk in dangerous quicksands and swamps. All, also other things from Banjo Kazooie that we'd be able to see. Get in the water. Wash them off. I don't know how you wash boots off, but oh my goodness, we took the time with that uh, that, that cutscene. I have to put in so long. Okay. Oh, I'm Lucky Jack 20. Doing my new let's play of Banjo Tui. And that was my wrong signature pose. Nope, it's this. See you guys.